Okay, this is paper four, 9702, May, June 07. And the question is, two charge points A and B are separated by 6.0 centimeter. As shown in the figure, the variation with the distance D from the A of the electric field strength E along the line AB is shown. So this is E and D graph. An electron is emitted with negligible speed from A, I mean initial speed is zero and travels along AB. State the relationship between electric field strength E and potential V. Electric field strength E is equal to minus delta V over D. Mean, if the graph is plotted, distance at the x-axis, potential at the y-axis, then the gradient of the graph with the negative sign is electric field strength. So we will write here, electric field strength is the negative potential gradient of potential against distance graph. Now move to the next. The area below the line of the graph of the figure represents the potential difference between A and B. Determine the potential difference between A and B. Mean we have to calculate the area under this graph. So first of all, we will draw here all possible geometrical shapes. Look, this is first rectangle. And then we can draw two triangles at each corner. So this is the first triangle. And similarly here at the right side, this is a triangle. And some boxes are left. We will count the number of the boxes. Suppose they are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19, 20. So approximately both side, the remaining boxes are 20. Now we have to calculate the area for this rectangle. Area is length into weight. So this is seven. This side is seven, but it is 7,000. So 7,000 multiply by this six divided by 100, we got the centimeter, two zeros cancel. So this is 420 units. Now the next one, this is approximately here is 1.8. So area of this triangle is one by two, and this is 1.8 divided by 100 for the centimeter. And then from seven to this 15, eight mean 8,000. So this canceled, so it is 0 0.9 times 80. So this is approximately 72 unit. And the next, this triangle, this is approximately one unit from this point to this point mean one centimeter. So one by two, one divided by 100 and times from seven to 10, three, so mean 3000. So this is 15. And then we have to calculate the area for these 20 boxes. So for this, we will first calculate these 100 boxes area this big square. So this side is two centimeter, this side five. So it is 5,000 
time two divided by 100. The two reserves cancel, so 50 times two. So the 100 boxes area is 100, mean one small box is one unit. So this is 20. Now we have to add all areas. So the first one is 420. Second is 72. This third is 15 and then 20. So we have to calculate. So this is five plus two, seven. This is seven plus two, nine and one, 10, 11, 12. And then this, so it is approximately 520 or you can write 530 and hold in two significant figures. It's approximately the 530. So the answer for the potential difference is 530. Now the next is use the answer to calculate the speed of the electron as it travels, uh, as it reaches the point B. Look, electric field will exert force, distance is covered. So the work is done on the electron and the work is equal to charge times potential difference. Now the work is converted into kinetic energy of the electron, half mv square charge times delta V. So one by two times this mass of the electron will be given 9.11 10 power minus 31 times speed square. The charge is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19. And this potential difference 530 approximately. So we can write V is equal to 1.6 10 power minus 19 times 530 times two divided by 9.11, 10 power minus 31 and the whole under root. And then it is calculated. Okay, after the calculation, the speed is coming 1.37 into 10 power seven meter per second. So this is the speed of the electron on reaching the point P. Next, use the figure to determine the value of the D at which the electron has maximum acceleration. Look, acceleration is equal to F divided by M, F is equal to MA. And here F is equal to EQ. So M of the electron, charge of the electron constant, so acceleration, directly proportional to electric field strength. So where the electric field strength is maximum, the acceleration is maximum. So we will look at the graph. Look, the electric field strength is maximum here 15. And the position of the particle is A mean the distance is zero from the A. So we will write here zero centimeter. At zero, the electric field strength is maximum. Thus, the acceleration is maximum. Next, without further calculation, describe the variation with the distance d of the acceleration. Look, acceleration, we have proved that directly proportional to e. Now, by looking at the graph, at this point, four centimeter, the electric field strength is maximum. So, from zero to four, Electric field strength is decreasing, so acceleration is decreasing, but from four to six, it increases also in the opposite direction. So look, this gradient is negative, this is positive. So from zero to four, this electric field strength is decreasing, so the acceleration is decreasing, and then from four to six, it is again increasing in the same direction, not in the opposite direction, in the same direction, because from A to B, the direction is same. So this is a question, I repeat this last part. So we will write here from D zero to D four, acceleration decreases 
and from d4 centimeter to d6 centimeter acceleration again increases in the same direction mean towards b so this is a question 